Hey guys, this is Tolhe and welcome to Let's Play Minecraft Season 2 Part 44 and of course the sun is starting to go down. Um, some things have changed. I was playing around with an idea over there which I'll show more of off screen. I was also trying to get that gate with the sticky piston to work. Um, and oh, sleep till dusk and then sleep till dawn. So one sec. Right, and a few moments of resting later. Um, we're back. And so yeah, it's just... Yeah, uh, I was playing around with a couple things. You guys are really loud. Um, I was playing around with a couple things, and when I turned around, all of a sudden the town had grown a lot, even though I had only been playing for a few moments. Right, and I just cleaned out my inventory a little bit, and um, now I'm ready to go again. Close the door so no one comes in uninvited. Uh, right, but I was playing with the redstone wire stuff, and ignore that for a few moments, so I'll get back to that in a second. And yeah, I still couldn't figure out a way to do it the way I want it. Um, some people had some ideas that technically work, um, but I guess I wasn't specific on what I was saying, but I understand that I could make a notch switch that could like, well, let me just build one. Um, right, and... I uh, went and got the stone, and if I throw down this pressure plate here on this piece, that works. And technically, yeah, I can go through like that, but what I was really wondering is if it was possible to have the pressure plate right here. Because I understood I could use a knot, but my, my issue was I wanted to have it so that the it was right next to it. And I don't think it's possible. I don't think it's possible to have it right here on this exact square and have it so that it doesn't affect the piston in some way. It seems like it has to be at least one square away in order f because the redstone if it was like right there when I stepped on it would affect it and it wouldn't I don't think it would run correctly. Although I guess I could try. Now uh, let's throw down some redstone like yeah see the redstone torch uh, uses it and I know if you use a pressure plate it doesn't affect the power it doesn't turn it off so yeah it, I, it would have to be one block away which is not what I wanted I was hoping it could be right next to it um, but I mean this kind of works the issue I have is that there's not enough room like on this side to have a pressure plate but a lot of people pointed out that uh, mobs can step on a pressure plate anyways so I'll probably just throw together a uh, switch a, a lever which I could probably put right here maybe although because it's not gonna matter about the inverter I really I could put the pre the uh, lever right next to it so why do I have no sticks let's make four and then throw down here make a lever and should be able to stick the lever like right there maybe be cool if I if it was in a spot where it could be reached on either side but I think that's fine and then run redstone uh, the issue with putting it right next to it though like that is that I don't think it'll receive power because it won't it, I have to have it back a bit hmm Unless I remove this piece of fence right here. And then put the lever right here. And this will work with my design, which I'll be showing in a second. And then throw down some redstone there. Oh, shoot. Fence collision in the way. Yeah, that'll work. Um, because, well... Give me a moment, I gotta go cut down some trees first because they're starting to get pretty wild. Right, and a few minutes of chopping down some trees later and converting them into fences, we have a structure for my mine shaft to keep it safe. Um, so this should keep um, all of the nasty spiders and other things from getting me while I'm mining, as well as being pretty awesome. Shelters from the rain, but I'm, I'm not sure if fences allow light to pass but it should, I would think. And then the switch, and we can come through this way and go back this way. And the only thing I really need to do now is seal up this hole. 
somewhat. So maybe throw down some sand. Oh, I don't. Where's all the dirt that I had? Oh, I think I used it for building the, the structure. And then it probably fell down the mine shaft when I got rid of it. Because I had to lay down. Basically, what I did was I laid down uh, a, a, a roof of blocks. One below where I wanted the fences to be, then laid out all the fences, then put up the sides. Um, so let's just move some stuff around so that things look tidy. Or at least somewhat tidy. Throw that there and there. Okay, cool. Um, and so yeah. In. And nothing can get in this way. Not even I can. A rat might be able to climb over is my only concern. But really, if a rat's going to go through that much trouble, you know, whatever. And it's one away, so I don't I don't think they're gonna just mosey on through this one gap. Could be wrong. So much grass. I'm hoping the grass is just gonna go away when summer comes. Like it's just gonna dissipate, because it's it's kind of getting pretty crazy. It's starting to become more like weeds than grass. Um although isn't grass a weed? I don't whatever. Um now these guys have been working away though. Um this first mine has been fully upgraded, it looks like. Um, the lumberjacks are getting better at using space for trees. Um, looks like stuff almost collapsed here, maybe. Tavern's getting a little bit of an upgrade. Population of 23 now. Quite the bustling village. Um, next up, they want to still make another mine, and they just need more stone. But it looks like they're using all their stones for upgrades. Oh, they've made a well. That's a nice little addition. And the guard tower, um, which I don't think they have any guards, but still. And the chapel got windows. Right, and so looking pretty cool now. We got the mine shaft structure and the house in the distance. And these guys seem to be able to produce enough stone on their own, so I don't think I really need to give them any. The next thing I really want to do is make a diamond pick and then go mine some obsidian and then head into the nether, which I will probably die in about two seconds when I head there. Uh, did I just use, uh, the l oh, yeah, it looks like I, one use of this used up almost all of it. I wonder if I can buy more. I have some cash on me. Although I got a ton of stone. I'm, you know what? I'm just going to give them what stone I have, and then I'm going to go mine some obsidian, and then make an obsidian portal somewhere. And then maybe head into the nether this part or in the next one. I'm not sure how we're doing on time here. Okay, so we're going to make a diamond pick. Like so. Uh, put that there, I guess. And I really don't have much cobblestone. I thought I had a lot, but it looks like... Probably don't want to just leave that lying around. Uh, it looks like I only have two stacks, which is surprising to me. But I'll go give them what I have. And almost as soon as I stop recording, it stopped raining. And it's just like, ah, why is it got to rain when I'm when I'm talking? It's, it's annoying. It makes everything all gloomy. But now everything's bright and sunny and the sun's almost going down. So I'm not going to have much time left in the day. It looks like, yeah, they're, they're just lining everything with cobblestone. Oh, oh, oh. What the heck? Oh, are they rebuilding the whole thing with stone? Hello? Um, have all my cobblestone. Thank you. Uh, you don't get any bread, though. Oh, they have wool? Oh, that must be excess that I gave them. And I'm still a ways off from getting that, because I think it's 1-0 is, um, is like 64 of these. Are you pushing me around? What are you guys doing? Stop pushing me around. Uh, don't think I need anything else, though. I can sell them this stone, though. Yeah, I'll sell them that. They might be able to do something with it. I'm not using any more of it. Oh, I should check on tools before I head back and go mining, though. I want to see what's going on over here. Selling to the player. Oh, still just uh, that one tool. I'm really looking for more of a pickaxe than that I do have 21 iron that I could come and give them but I don't really feel like giving up my iron just yet I might need to be making some armor or something in order to survive in the nether 
because with only five hearts this is gonna be rather difficult okay so I'm gonna go rest and then head down well I don't need to rest I'm gonna be down in the mine shaft it doesn't matter if it's dark or not so I'm just gonna head down and try and find some obsidian safely so open the gate in close the gate okay heading down okay and I'm at the entrance of this area I realized I didn't bring any water with me but there is some water right here that I should be able to harvest I gather whatnot uh, over here it looks like Let's just get that and then only got eight torches left I got some coal with me oh hello mr. psychic and ice creeper no water I think he's water okay so again I have to get back into safe mode where I have to watch where I place water and torches because it may collapse on me so this looks like a good place where's so uh, okay this looks safe oh I forgot to check what what was above me though okay this is this is safe he no here this is uh, sandstone above and below me okay so then let's try doing that then lay down a torch and then lay down some more water which is gonna get rid of my torch if it was to yeah flow back this way okay and that should be a good amount of obsidian um, this looks safe here so let's break these and place more water okay all is good nothing up there okay now I'm gonna start gathering some of this obsidian which is gonna take a while to gather uh, enough pieces and then I'll head up with it and try and figure out where I'm gonna put down a portal okay so I've gathered the uh, 10 obsidian I need and I'm heading up the ladder now I just want to show like the awesome view of the roof as I climb Actually, it almost looks like it's starting to get light out. Oh yeah, I was down there the whole night. Cool. Was that a... Creeper, 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 run. Uh, let's head inside. I'm, I'm still debating where to put the portal. Oh, uh... I almost forgot. Uh, the whole ghosting thing was fixed in the latest version of the Yogbox. I'm still on beta 6. Oh, just close that door in time. Um, there is beta 7 out, but the problem is it, it has a newer version of the Millionaire mod, and if I install it, my entire village would become destroyed, and it would be useless, and the NPCs wouldn't do anything or something. So, not installing the newest version of the Yogbox, Yog box, I will stay at beta 6 um, forever and ever. Sleep until dusk, no. Stay now. Okay, good. Uh, so, I had said earlier I want the, a farm down there eventually. So, I don't want the portal in the house. Not in, mostly because I, I've in the past found that... I found that when I have it too close it gets annoying because it's always making weird noises and stuff so I just I don't want it near near the home because it gets annoying uh, I thought an interesting place might be to have it in the old temple but then I have to always worry about getting killed by monster spawners although I guess I could put torches up to be safe and then I wouldn't have to worry yeah I'm gonna do that you know what I'm gonna turn the old oh what happened there where the world decided to regenerate huh anyways uh let's see come over here and then oh what did i get hit by that was weird was that delayed fall damage or something let's see make some sandstone what the heck Wait, airship? No. But it's getting worse. 
What's... What's happening? Um... I'm gonna get in the house. It seems like something's attacking me, but it's invisible. Could it be that sprites or mobs aren't rendering? One second, I'm gonna save and quit. <laughs>